name is David Shrigley and I'm here at the New School as part of my public art fund project which is happening uptown and I'm here downtown delivering a talk. I've made a work um, commissioned by the public art fund called Memorial and it's a giant slab of granite from Georgia, you know, the state in America, not the other place called Georgia. And it's a giant shopping list engraved on this giant slab of granite. And it looks like a kind of war memorial or something, but instead of the names of dead soldiers, it has a grocery list. I formed the shopping list through a composite of lists that I asked my friends in New York City to provide for me and uh, selected the interesting stuff like shelf brackets and diapers. And then we kind of edited the list because it was a little bit too Whole Foods type thing, like too bourgeois, and I wanted it to be a bit more everyday, everyman, kind of not too fancy. And yeah, it means something interesting. When I say it means something interesting, I mean that uh, you could have an interesting discussion about what it means. Um, maybe it's a memorial to everyday life, or maybe it's an epitaph of somebody who was very ordinary. I also have a project in Trafalgar Square in London, which is the fourth plinth, a kind of biannual commission. My proposal was to make a giant statue of a thumb of a hand with the thumbs up, with the thumb elongated, and it's called Really Good. And I wrote a spiel, as you have to do for public art projects, that sort of purported that the piece was um, going to make the world a better place through some kind of self-fulfilling prophecy, like you say things are good, so they become good. And I guess that was kind of, that's kind of a ridiculous proposition, because if public art public art made the world a better place, there'd be a lot more of it for a start, because it would be quite cost effective. So it was ironic. But then also it was kind of sincere in the sense that, as an artist, you have to believe that your, wor your work makes the world a better place on some level. So it, it, interesting kind of dichotomy in that it's um, ironic and sincere at the same time. I've also got a show opening this week at the Rose Art Museum in um, Brandeis University near to Boston, um, which is uh, a giant female life model, nine feet tall, made of polyester, who blinks, and people are invited to draw pictures of her. But she's badly proportioned, which makes it very difficult to, or impossible, to make a good life drawing of her, because if it's accurate, it still looks badly proportioned, if you know what I mean. So it's my revenge, maybe, because I'm not very good at life drawing myself. What else? Um, it's my birthday as well. That's uh, perhaps less important at this stage in my life, but I would, I'm hoping some people remember. And um, that's about it, I think. <laughs>